Right, hello and welcome to what I hope is a first in a new series of videos um, looking at books related to uh, railways and railway modelling in, in some way, shape or form. Um, this isn't going to be a, a kind of standard book review um, video. Um, I'm not going to look at every new book that comes out. I'm only going to look at those where I have either an interesting story to tell um, or some personal connection to the book. Um, in fact, a lot of the books we're probably going to look at are going to be older books that may not even still be um, available or easily accessible. So hopefully they'll be interesting from a, a railway or modelling history point of view as well. Um, so we're going to start off, as you'll probably have seen from the video thumbnail, with this uh, this book. Now this is a, a more recent book, um, but it kind of follows on from one of the other the other videos I've done recently, uh, where this book was actually uh, briefly mentioned. So what is this? Well, it's um, a book written by Alan Keefe um, that's looking at the first 50 years of the company he founded uh, and the locomotives uh, that they've built. So if we have a have a brief look inside, what you'll find after uh, a nice introduction, um, <clears throat> talking about the kind of things that they've done, where he's got the photos from, etc., um, is the, the list of, of locomotives he's built. Um, and then essentially there's at least one page, um, sometimes sometimes more, but at least one page for each of the locomotives they've built over the over the 50 years. Um, so you can see AK1, so that's the, the first first loco built by Alan Keefe um, in 1974. Um, and obviously there's a bit of um, a background for the loco uh, and some and some photos. Um, <clears throat> so AK1 covers two pages. AK2 um, again uh, covers a page, and we keep going three, four, etc. Now, it's a lovely book. Um, lots of photos in here of, of interesting prototypes, uh, interesting locomotives, interesting places. Um, for modelers, there's some nice uh, drawings in the book as well. Um, this is a feature of Alan's other books as well. Uh, you get nice little uh, line drawings, which are great for for modeling. Um, and if that was all that there was in this book, then it would be uh, interesting as, as as a book on its own. Um, but there's a bit of a bit of history um, to this book as well. So I actually had known about this book for a while before it was announced. I think it was about three years. Um, so um, I, if you remember, I built. Um, a model of um, of a, of a Keith loco, a K12 loco. Um, this one, uh, if we can, if you can see that um, tiny little thing. Um, and I wrote about it in uh, Narrow Gauge and Industrial Railway Model and Review. So, if we open this up, um, lots of nice modelling by lots of different people. But if we flick through, we'll find that somewhere in here <coughs> is the article I wrote. Um, about my uh, my model of of, of uh, a K12 diesel, uh, specifically um, AK6, <clears throat> uh, which there's a there's a prototype photo of it here on a on a, on a peat bog. Um, so I wrote this lovely article um, showing how I designed the the model, etc. And we've kind of discussed this a bit already because, as I say, there's a video and I'll I'll put a link up um, describing how I went about and built this. So I'm not going to go over this too much. Um, but alongside that article I wrote another article with Alan himself where we looked at all K all the K12 um, locomotives that the, the company had built so um, <clears throat> this started with um, AK2 um, so the first kind of it was the first completely new design of loco um, that the company had done obviously it's the second loco they ever built as a company um, and because it was their first design, obviously the locomotives after were all kind of sequential as it was. So we've got AK2, um, 3, 4, 5, AK6, AK7. Um, and that was kind of where it where it finished. And as you can see, there's lots of lots of uh, photos of the different locos, both uh, which we tried to give a, a kind of a good a good layout, a good mixture of <clears throat> kind of prototype photos from when they were reasonably new and in use. Um, there was the leaflet. Um, as I say, I'll give the back number issue in the in the well, it's, it's issue number 
119, but I'll give a link uh, where you can go buy this if you want to have a more detailed read. Um, but we tried to give kind of photos of when they were new uh, and photos of the locos in their current state. Um, so you can see um, AK7 uh, is now called Barbie and is at um, Black Bill Pressure Beach uh, as part of their uh, part of their work. For example, um, AK6, the one I modelled, um, is now um, privately owned. Um, it's been regaged and all sorts of other things in the interim. Um, still sports the, the kind of wasp stripe on the front, although it's now green instead of orange. Um, so yeah, we wrote this um, and it was it was well received and it was it was great to work with Alan um, to to discuss those locos. Um, but it wasn't long after we'd written this. So this covered kind of, um, as I say, um, locos two to seven. So the first six that were kind of completely new to a design that the, the company had come up with. Um, and it wasn't long after that I got an email from Alan <clears throat> to say that we'd, we'd kind of messed up slightly um, and we'd missed a locomotive from that article. So what we'd missed um, <clears throat> was a much later uh, look, and as if I can find the right page, it's in here somewhere. 372. So we'd missed <coughs> um, AK 55, so an awful lot later, uh, of 1998. Uh, so this was an oddity, it was um, a K 12 but built to a much wider gauge, um, three foot six inches, uh, as part of a system for a, a, a sewage treatment works, I think. Um, but Alan only realized we'd missed this because he'd basically continued on um, having you know discussed the first kind of six locos uh, with me when we wrote the article he basically continued on and intent and, and and was was kind of doing a similar thing for all his other locos and of course that eventually um, became the book um, so yeah so I'd known about this for I think about three years um, between um, writing the original article with him and, and this coming out um, and um, yeah it's, it's it's lovely to think that maybe um, I mean I'm sure Alan would have got round to doing this anyway it's a lovely book and it's the kind of thing he he um, he writes about in his previous books uh, but it, it, it's it's nice to think that I was um, I was at least partially involved in, the, in that initial uh, in that initial thing um, <clears throat> and um, yeah, and if we go to the back of the book, Alan also included a, a section on modelling, um, which was nice because my tiny little uh, loco makes a reappearance uh, on the modelling page, uh, and Alan says some some nice things uh, about the modelling. Um, so yeah, it's um, as I say, if you haven't already um, seen the book but are interested in kind of British built uh, diesel and steam locomotives, um, especially industrial ones, um, go get the book. It's brilliant. Um, I say I'm not just saying that because Alan says nice things about the, the model, but um, but yeah, so you can see it um, it comes right up to date um, <clears throat> with uh, up to up to 2022. Um, it gives a there's a there's a section at the end that gives a kind of full um, details of how they go about building um, locomotives currently um, at Alan Keith um, with a, with a kind of worked example, um, but. Yeah, there's there's all sorts of, of interesting uh, interesting things in here. Uh, I mean, you can flick to pretty much any page and find something interesting. So um, here's some um, photos of one of the one of the locos that they built that was used at the, the National Grid line at Woodhead, for instance. Um, all sorts of yeah, pleasure lines, mining locos, you name it. They've they've built it over the years, um, including odd things like replica. Uh, replica locos so this is steam elephant uh, for Beamish Museum um, yeah so uh, yeah so it's a it's a lovely book this one um, I think still is available um, it's published by uh, Lightmore Press um, again I'll put a link in the in the description um, but hopefully you've you've found that that interesting um, as I say I'm gonna do a, a kind of a series of these I've got a set of, of books that I think are interesting to to talk about um, I've started with this one because there was a link to the the previous modelling videos, um, but as I say, we'll, we'll we'll take a bit of a detour, possibly away from modelling to a bit more kind of history uh, with some of the others. So if that's something you're interested in, uh, feel free to subscribe and then you don't miss those when they become available.